You. What is up, my beach-looking people? My name is Frank here on Beach Looking Guy, and today I have a video for you guys talking about the three things that you need to be good at in order to side slip. Now, typically, I would make a video kind of teaching how to side slip, but the thing is with skimming. When you get the skill level to side slip, you will basically start to do it automatically. And you won't really need anyone to teach you how to do it. It just requires that you're very good at a couple basic, or should I say more basic things before being able to side slip will work for you. So this video, I will give you guys three things that you're going to need to be really good at in order to be able to side slip well. So without further ado, let's get into it. All right, so the first thing I think you should really be good at in order to side slip is having good control. And having control is extremely important when it comes to any sport. You want to have very good control. So having great control over your board and your body is going to really help you get a great side slip going because side slips are very much about having lots of speed, being crouched very low and staying still, being very smooth and still. So having good control is going to mean a a lot in that aspect. With side slips, you have to adjust your board a lot. Uh, that means getting it in and out of side slip formation. And this is completely down to how much control you have over the board. And while doing these motions of adjusting the board, you want to be able to also keep your body under control and not have your arms swinging around or your hips and knees uh, out of place. So again, control with the side slip is very important. Just being able to maneuver the board around, getting it in and out of side slips and uh, being able to just maintain a very good posture and stance while side slipping. Uh, side slipping is very fast, relies a lot on speed and the next thing we'll be talking about is speed it is just very very important when it comes to skimboarding in general and when you want to side slip well you need to have speed and speed directly comes after control you definitely want to have the control to control your speed uh, you will often see guys who have the speed but not the control. And it tends to end up with a lot of wipeouts. They get close to hitting the wave and they kind of just fly out of the back and the board goes out in the other direction or they're just falling over in general. And that's because they have the speed in a sense, but they don't have any control. So, so with skimboarding, you are reliant completely on how fast you can run and transfer yourself onto the board to get to the waves. You don't paddle into a wave. You don't have uh, any other means of getting on a wave besides running. So it's very important to have just good running technique and being able to run fast in short distances. It's also gonna mean that you want to be able to transfer that speed onto the board without slowing down. You need to keep, or if anything, your last step should actually give you a little bit more propulsion than your run uh, as you get on the board. And this is really gonna help you get the speed that you need to really utilize a side slip. Side slips are typically about getting as far out up off of the shore as you can. 
and catching the waves that are uh, really far away that you typically wouldn't be able to get to. And so speed is going to be everything when it comes to getting to these far waves. So just running fast and being able to get on the board and not slowing down is going to be very important to a good side slip. All right, and for the last thing you are going to want to be good at for doing a good side slip is being able to water drop. A water drop is very, very effective at letting you keep as much speed as possible and going as far as possible. For those who don't know, a water drop is where you drop not on the, the sand, but directly on the water. And these are two very different things depending on exactly how and what waves you are trying to catch. Water drops tend to put you closer to the wave, which actually means that you could slide further. So you want to be able to water drop in deep water as deep as you can. This is going to let you keep projecting your speed towards the wave and just put you closer to it so that you can get as much out of a side slip as possible. Now sand drops can also work for side slips but you always have to transition from the sand to the water and typically it can be a little bit of a bumpy ride and this is what will take away a lot of your speed while trying to get to waves that are far away. Also, water drops allow you to get into a quicker side slip. Basically, as you're dropping, you can slightly have the board at an angle. And as you drop on the water, because you don't have to get over the water to get on top of it, you just go directly into a side slip. So being able to water drop is going to really help you get into a side slip quickly and be able to go far very fast. Water drops are gonna be the last thing you're definitely gonna probably get good at in this list. So all of these things, the control, the speed, and the water drop are all gonna be things that you're, you're gonna to wanna to consider in order because they all rely on one another to work at their best. So being able to water drop, you're going to need to have great control and great speed. 